Poetry is a legendary poet rock star with a Tony Emmy and advertising awards and will write your manifesto with class and style. He starred in Deaf Poetry Jam on Broadway and co-founded the largest poetry venue in the world, The Poetry Lounge. He has worked with brands such as Nikki, JBL, and BT, and has also written and produced for agencies like Whedon and Kennedy and BBDO. He was a writer and producer on Heaven Sent, a pay-per-view event that aired on FOX. Poetry has also contributed to cultural events such as Amusement Park Music's first record release, Bigger Than Us, which addressed police brutality and the Black Lives Matter movement. He was even personally invited by former President Barack Obama to perform at the first annual spoken word event at the White House. Poetry has traveled all over world and entertained thousands from Australia to New Zealand to Switzerland, both performing and teaching writing workshops. His talents have landed him acting roles in such feature films as National Treasure 2, Blades of Glory, and Yes Man with Jim Carrey. Some of his television appearances include Oprah Winfrey's show, Tyler Perry's House of Pain, Bones and he was awarded an Emmy for Black White. Nothing, however, compares to his personal invitation by former President Barack Obama to be a part of the first annual spoken word event held at the White House. But it doesn't stop. As mentioned, Poetry is the former host and co-founder of the largest weekly poetry venue in the nation. The Poetry Lounge has an attendance of over 360 people every Tuesday and has been around for 20 years. The Poetry Lounge has not only broadened the appeal of spoken word in Los Angeles, but has become a haven for young people to come and express their emotions in a positive atmosphere. For 12 years, Potry took his popularity in the spoken word community, added some comedy, and founded another popular show in Los Angeles called Spoken Funk. By having created two of the hottest spoken word venues in Southern California, Potry has certainly left a lasting mark on the culture of Los Angeles. Yet, he remains grounded and convicted in his beliefs, which has kept him loved by many. Poetry is the one that should be writing your manifesto. You will be glad that he did.